Actually, we never have to bother about starting the day because the day is starting to fall on us. <laughs> because normally, uh, there's this bloody thing called the internet. And um, the one thing that the, the truth of the matter is, uh, that at a certain point, a popular author has to fight like crazy to find time to write. How many conversations have there been this year? A hundred million billion. A hundred million billion, that's right, yes. I didn't go to the one in our present chair, though. Mm. <laughs> so, uh, we have stacked the last year. I mean, a, lot, a lot of it's... This really started to happen after the Dimbleton election. And these days, because I was, as it were, in the political arena, there's so much of this sort of thing goes on. And actually, it's a really good day for me if I can sit down and write all day. My working day is uh, get up, go to the toilet, take pills. Uh, remembering uh, to make certain that you don't get the lavatory pin. I'm sure there are elderly people here. Uh, two, uh, when you take pills, uh, you these days, once upon a time, they used to come in with a pill box. It's ever so nice. Take out one pill, end up. Now they're all hermetically thin. And you push it very, very hard. Don't you? Especially with the little ones. And they fly out. <laughs> and they bounce off the light in the ceiling. And since gentlemen don't always um, put the seat down. <laughs> get the lavatory pin. So always check that. Um, uh, so that, get up, uh, get dressed, and uh, go and feed chickens, go and cook uh, tortoises, and feed tortoises if necessary. Uh, by which time, it will be time to, for Rob to be at work, or he probably won't be at work, obviously. <laughs> and if there's always if it's life is always, as it were, trying to remember uh, that you were trying to drain the swamp and finding that you are steep in alligators. <laughs> <laughs> and just so many people, always in the, in the night, often in the nicest possible way, um, want a piece of you. Would you come to this? Would you open this? And it comes with the night with you. When I mean, you come and talk to these politicians and yada yada yada, yada and you come to talk to our school and so <coughs> on, um, and you somehow feel you have to say yes to some of them because you just can't shut it all down. We, we do have a few office sayings that cover this uh, type oh, of yes. stuff, unfortunately. Do tell them. Yeah, the first one being nobody asks for just one favour, <laughs> and the second one probably surprises you because you're all very polite people, uh, but no one ever says thank you. And uh, that usually follows the first one quite rapidly. And um, it's amazing how often that happens. That, um, we've been in situations before where um, I, I will use a school that will remain unnamed, a, a school visit, uh, where we were going to go and watch uh, Johnny and the Bomb. That in fact, 10 minutes before we were due to walk down into the auditorium. I'm going to stop you, Robert. I have an unaged and unstable cup here. I will rest you. Uh, the week of you set a hot cup is starting to be so Thank you very much. Rob, if you will move the chair, Seth and I will move the table. Okay, that's fine. It's been a very continuous piece made the same way as coffee, which is not the way you would do it. See what I mean? It's very flexible. Large cup stain. And some sugar if you want. Oh, that's fine. Make it taste of something. Um, okay, so um, we're, we've gone to a school, uh, a very nice private school. Um, I won't say how close it is to our home, otherwise people will be able to find out where it is. And um, we, uh, ten minutes before we were due to go down into the auditorium, we found that there was no longer Johnny in the bomb we were going to go to. It was actually Ginny and the bomb. They had actually changed Johnny Maxwell to Ginny Maxwell without having Terry. And suddenly the art director panicked at the last moment of how Terry was going to react. I don't know what they've done if we've said it's got to be Johnny and Bomb, I really don't know. Maybe a pair of socks in the 19th century. <laughs> 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 
Anyway, um, we, we arrived, we went into the headmaster's office, and we were greeted, uh, it's just very, very odd, it's hard to actually describe, which I know is very good for you, but I don't describe it, but we were, we were given, I think mean, Terry had a chipped cup, and I had a chipped glass, and the headmaster said, I, 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 think, I, think, I, I think I can get you some water, and he came back and he took about a quarter of a glass of water each, and this is after driving for a couple of hours to get there, oh, I, I, I think I've got some biscuits, and he went into his own packed lunch to give us biscuits from his lunch. <laughs> Um, what would you got in England would be called a posh school? Very posh, very posh. <laughs> and so this is all rather weird, but then, uh, as always happens, uh, a lady pops her head around the door. So let me just tell you this. At the moment, because we have now made the trip to the school and we are there, we have been asked to do something, we are one nil up, okay? So we are in the lead at the moment, we are one nil ahead. So a lady comes in and uh, says that she's going to ask you something. She, she takes me outside and uh, would Terry come along and uh, do something with the library where we need to raise some funds? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, read the diary. Just coming here today, you know, busy, 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 busy. And so you get the harumph that you get in these situations. And now, we in fact now we're back at Evens, okay? So we're now, it's nil nil. We've, we've gone along to do something, that's fine. We've refused to do something, that's not a few. We've just politely said no, we are now back at nil nil. So we go along, we watch Jenny and the bomb, it's all very jolly and everything like that. Uh, and after all, yeah, Terry does absolutely everything. It's all singing, all dancing, and it's fine. We're all feeling quite jolly, though somewhat hungry. And, uh, <laughs> and then Terry gets called before we leave and is asked if he would do another fundraiser for the school. Um, and again, I'm terribly sorry, but da, 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 the diary's full, you know, um, there's, only, there's only so much for me, blah, 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 blah. It's always very polite. But now, suddenly, we are one nil down. We have gone to the school. We've spent an evening traveling there, doing all the stuff, taking the life, watching the day. And now, we are one nil down. And because of that, at the end of these things, you would think there would be a, a lineup of staff going, thank you so much for coming to see our play. We are basically left standing in the foyer of the school, going, OK, we'll go now. <laughs> and, and off we go into the night, and you never get a thank you from the school, and, and you go home and you think, why did we do that exactly? Yeah. But that actually does, has always tended to be the case. Um, okay, visiting, visiting schools in the UK, I have found schools I've visited in the US to be better. Um, I'm sure many of you have heard of Daniel Pinkwater. <laughs> he wrote a book about this. It was a, a picture book. I cannot remember the name. And it was, obviously, he had gone to many schools to talk to kids, and schools hadn't worked it out properly mm. ahead, of, ahead of time. So they spelled his name wrong, yeah. and that was the start. And there was nowhere to park. Yeah, that's and every, every humiliation that could be inflicted on a traveling uh, um, author had been inflicted on this poor guy. Mm. And it was all done in a kind of deadpan way. It but sometimes works the way, thankfully. Well, when it actually does work, it's so absolutely wonderful that you, you come out fading air. If the kids are really, you know, sometimes you learn actually to, um, well, you learn when to say no, frankly. Because sometimes schools will want you to come along and talk, which means best if you're sitting in front of a bunch of kids who probably haven't read the books, and that's it. Then I think teacher points <coughs> off to having to smoke. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't get that to deal with them, which, which really isn't the... But they ring up the publisher and say, can we have Terry Patches along for a talk? Yes, what about? Well, anything. <laughs> are, you doing, are you doing a study of this world? No. <laughs> So now we say, piss off. Now I'm old and quiddly, so I am actually quite quiddly anyway. Um, you, you just cannot have, you can't find time for the people that can't find time for you. Mm. And all, you have all these kind of, there was one school, for example, um, oh, can you please help us? But this was uh, in Wales, 
the school was on every year burned down. And we said, anyway, you can help us, you know, can you give me some books? And we said, yes, yes, I think it does. Because you accumulate lots of books, you know, um, you've got a whole stack of giveaway and things like that. And we got this, put together this huge pile of books, and many of them were hard covers, most of them were hard covers. And we phoned them up. Now, uh, where we are, um, a bit like this. The sensible way, if you've got something, the, the size of the, the how much, how many books were there? It was a lot. It was nearly 50 kilos of books. Right. <laughs> uh, so we said, look, we've got an idea. We'll drive it up onto the, um, is it the M? The A3, A3. The A3, A3. 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 Was it just don't hit? Yeah, we, we said that we'd meet them up on there. And, but we I thought here. it was on, I thought it would be said we'd go to the M3. To the well, M3. The compromise was the A3, A3, the A3. They, they couldn't come that far. Okay. So, this is, so yeah, we've been yeah. feeling a bit worried about this already. In other words, what we wanted to do was most, mostly take it to the Welsh border because <laughs> that's a long drive for us. And then they could take it to Cardiff. You know, because we were trying to shorten the amount of time. And we said, look, that's what we do. Uh, give us a time when you can do that. Um, you, you came up with a spot. If they met us there, we can hand over all the books and then we can get on with what we have to do. So will you give us all these books for free and will you actually spend the day taking them to us? <laughs> when knowing knowing actually that since we were talking about a place which most people would drive by every day, that was simply it. I'll tell you what though, the dancing girls in the class A drugs make up all that. I also think it was rather noisy in your mind. Yeah, it's not that in London, I suppose we are in many ways, but yes, there are so many things that turn up, especially when you're at night. I think it's just that reality check that people think. You know, surely they've made contact. That's actually the hardest bit. They've actually our interests. They, 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 they have got that. We have said yes. Why? Why would they let it go? It's like the letters. You get the letters. We know this one. The letters. Uh, the, the, the letters most likely to get them. Apart from dear sir, pay this bill or else you can do that in the house or the <laughs> the ones that are most likely to get answered are the ones that say, I really like this girl, and please, there's, there's no need for an answer. And that's when you get, they get an answer. <laughs> <laughs> so don't all start writing those names. But because, um, and the, the other one, the other one, ah, we can, we can actually do our bit. Okay. The whole American stamp <coughs> business. Okay. Okay. I would like you to recite after me. Please remember. Please remember that American stamps. That American stamps of the country for which we stand. Of the country for which we stand. Only work in bloody America. <laughs> You can holiday over here for a month and have to send postcards to everybody we know every day and never run out. People say, but of course they work because they're American stamps. Yes, but they have. people send good people. And I actually don't like signing books by post because there are so many things that can go wrong. Uh, which, and then you, as it were, have to take responsibility for. But um, uh, along comes a package, and if we're lucky, it has a really stout self-defense envelope mm -hmm. already for, you know, for Harlem J. Hackenbacker, 812349768, Mendy Wall Circle. <laughs> right, and that, that's all there, you don't have to worry about that. Um, uh, 
but they sent stamps uh, to go back with. And uh, that doesn't work. <coughs> and and so the post office time. won't accept it. We and so, it. so we end up sending it back, which doesn't, don't, doesn't actually matter until you start looking for the, the bill we pay for stamps. Again, it's so horrible. It just, it just kind of makes you a bit glum. <laughs> Especially when they send a, uh, a toilet paper thin envelope and you do everything. Either, 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 you're, you're, you know, you get angry about it. Well, I do, I do. And then the book goes back and then you get an email or another letter, the same thing, very much as any of my first edition, Colour of Magic back to me, and it's, it got knackered in the post. You think, yes, it was knackered on its way over, <laughs> not, on the, not on the way back. So, um, anyway, you, you've all been educated now. But this basically gets us through to, to about five past ten in the morning, doesn't it? So, <laughs> <laughs> that makes it powerful, powerful stuff. There's all this stuff that comes by the internet, of course, because even saying no often takes a long time. It, the, one, the only real conversation I've ever had with Bill Craig Gates was when I met you when you were going to be photographed or something. And uh, the photographer was mucking about and I, I said, Bill, you could, you know, this was just when I think Windows was coming out in the UK. And I, and I said, but, oh, um, we were just outside a baby hall when he was going to talk about how cool Windows was to a load of guys in Britain. And I said, we've got this guy waiting for you. And you're letting this for photographer much about with, you know, painting with light type business that they do. And he said, I long ago found out that sometimes it's easier to say yes than to say no. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And so we get on with stuff. Mm. But it, it's the things that you didn't expect. You expect the letters from the kids and that's all fine. Uh, the letters from the school teachers that we like him to send and apply to every single child. <laughs> <laughs> They've all written their, they've all written their answers, uh, what they want to say to you. But you can tell the ones that have actually read the books on the crab bits of other people. <laughs> Generally, we end up by writing one big letter to the whole classroom. And, Please tell your, uh, tell your teacher um, uh, that he'd like a lot of library, uh, he'd like um, to write a letter to lots of teachers, to ask him. Them, how it, what it's like being a teacher. <laughs> and, uh, you know, fill up their day with not essential. <laughs> I'm just thinking of all the other things I actually eaten today. And there was one thing recently um, that I'd like to mention. Um, I was having my breakfast, I was looking at the news on, online, and I read that uh, 30 odd swans have been killed. Oh, right. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, I thought this is, this is a really terrible thing, and uh, got into the office, Terry had read it as well, and, and we were both absolutely incensed. Um, would you like to tell them a little bit about yeah. swans? Someone had been shooting swans, which are protected by the law, <coughs> and most of them are the to the queen. Um, and left them from dead. Uh, and uh, this was in the, on the Somerset levels. And, uh, there was an organisation called Secret World, and that they, you know, they kind of repair hedgehogs. If you bring a broken hedgehog in, they'll, uh, they'll put it back on its feet again. <laughs> and they do a lot of We began to visit them. And um, the local populace was so incensed about this that they, they put together about 9k um, you know, as a reward for evidence leading to the conviction. Of who ever done it. And I was so upset that I was. Because um, you see a lot of swans around in this whole area, aren't right? they? Yeah. I know they can make your arm with a blow of their nose, but uh, you know, so, you know, they, they have a bit of coat in their tools. And, um, and I said, I, I'm bringing it up to, so it would be. Um, uh, uh, about 20,000. Uh, 20,000, yeah. It was, uh, it was nearly 10,000, and then I uh, put it over. And uh, for some reason, this became a major news item. Um, and all the television people started turning up. 
that's all not too bad, except where we live, fortunately. Uh, electronically, we are hard to get at. Yeah, you would think satellites are pretty much straight mm -hmm. up or somewhere along there, but uh, they turn up in their satellite bands, they said, don't worry, we've done this loads of times before, we're going on air in 10 minutes, it's fine, we've got loads of time for those cigarettes. So the BBC are like, yeah. uh, oh, can't get a signal, can't get, can we go up, drive up to the highest place, which is a, like, you know, a long way away, drive up there, I've come, just got my shoes on, you know, and we, 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 we put my jacket on. Now, up there, it's lovely and warm at home, um, where we're taken, the wind is bitter and icy. <laughs> I'm talking about the swans. Okay, that's it, we get that one. Right, we get back down, Not another company has come down. Can we drive up to the place? It's <laughs> <laughs> lovely afternoon, getting up freezing, getting freezing cold. Um, I'm talking about the, the iniquity of what's been happening. Um, and then in, in the end, the police never prosecuted it. So, mm -hmm. On the other hand, um, I gave quite, I gave the money to see it well. And thankfully, the shooting stopped. So the yeah, they, I, think, I think it's mm -hmm. certainly people may have thought that you can probably get into trouble with people that are going to be spending this kind of money. So the swamps have now taken us through to about midday. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's, about, that's about a few hours out, so we're there, and not a word has been written so far. Uh, but you know, we get back to the office, the telephone will be ringing, no doubt. Uh, uh, probably got it smiled, uh, who's here? <laughs> Somebody here? Um, asking us why we haven't been anything yet today. <laughs> I think it's got, a, it's got a webcam. <laughs> Remember that we do everything ourselves. Um, so, um, if you're going up to London, we have book cars or we use a jack or something like that. Um, and uh, that's the other thing we often have to do with media, and that means BBC. And that's in London, and that's about. 100 miles, exactly. It's exactly, exactly. Yeah, miles to our private. Uh, but the BBC thinks that everybody is in London. They are not. They actually don't understand the concept of somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I wonder if you could just pop into our studio, <laughs> 100 miles away. <laughs> the office rule is usually that we will only do two things or more if we're going to London. So we'll try to find things to do. In fact, that often means going to nice hat shop. <laughs> That's uh, which I rather like. The uh, bit in interesting gentlemen's outfits and things like that. You know, with uh, the stuffed cat. <laughs> so now we've got a bit of London, that's the day gone. So we've gone into the office, phone rings, a bit of swans, da 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 da. And that's another day when not a single word 